Good morning and welcome to Gentle Yoga. As a reminder, my name is Kelly and I'm the newest Willow Valley Fitness team member. So before we get started, a couple of reminders. Um, Friday, May 22nd, I'll be hosting a meditation at 10 a.m. on Facebook Live. And it will be a visualization meditation. And looking ahead to next week, Wednesday, May 27th, I believe, I'll be hosting a yoga for strength building. And for class today, I ask that you have some water, your mats, some space, maybe a quiet space if you can. And you're going to go ahead and come to an easy seat. That can be crisscross applesauce. Maybe bringing the left heel in closer to the groin and then the right. Really building an upright spine from your sacrum to your cervical spine. Allowing your eyes to get heavy. Allowing your gaze to close down. Bring your arms out to your hips and on an inhale, when you're ready, sweeping them all the way up, creating a prayer above your head and bringing that prayer to your heart center. When that prayer comes down, go ahead and warm the palms, pressing them together, creating some warmth and some fire, some agni. Taking a moment to let the palms press together and taking a moment to set an intention for class today. Maybe in this moment of silence you notice a body part that needs some attention. Maybe you decide to go all the way through this practice or lessen up because you need it right now. Taking a moment and allow whatever emotions and thoughts are coming through your head, just observe them. Allow yourself to detach from all your, your things to do and how you've been feeling through this coronavirus and pandemic. Try to become the observer We're going to begin practice with one chant of Om, inhaling to prepare. Om. Keeping your eyes closed down, we're going to start class today with Robin's breath, which was, this will be a new breath for those who have been practicing pranayama with me. So how we begin is inhaling with your hands at heart center. On an exhale, go ahead and push the palms away, round out the back, bring the belly button to the back of the spine. <clears throat> On your next inhale, go ahead and open your shoulder blades, pulling your arms back, palms forward. Exhale, pressing together, round the spine. Inhale, back to prayer. Exhaling, pressing out, rounding the spine. Inhale, pulling the shoulders back, opening the chest. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, the heart center. We're going to continue this breath with your own breathing rhythm. So continuing when you're exhale, rounding. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, rounding. Inhaling back to a prayer. Go ahead and continue this breath with your own breathing rhythm. And as you go through this breath, really imagine 
like you are a robin. And as you spread your wings, just feel that opening in your chest and your biceps. When you're ready, we're going to go ahead and maybe blink open the eyes. Going to go ahead and bring the arms to the front edge of the mat, bringing the legs, swinging them around. You're going to bring your wrists under your shoulders, knees under hips. Inhaling, going to come to open up the chest, drop the belly, cow pose. Exhale, round the spine. Inhaling, bringing the shoulder blades to kiss, dropping the belly, lift the gaze, exhale, round the spine, looking at the mat, continuing this breath with your own breathing rhythm. On your next inhale, go ahead and find a neutral spine. Keeping your knees right where they are. Go ahead and curl your back toes under to touch the mat. And on your next inhale, lifting up and back to your downward facing dog. When you get here, go ahead and walk out your dog. Maybe sway your hips side to side, whatever would feel good. When you are ready, go ahead and find stillness in this downward facing dog. Taking a moment to check back in. And when you're ready, on an inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, starting with the right foot, walking to the front of the mat. You're going to go ahead and grab opposite elbows. You're going to go ahead and sway from side to side. Option to say yes and no with the head. Really releasing the back. Letting go of the head and the arms. When you're ready, releasing the arms, and on an inhale, go ahead and curl up, vertebrae by vertebrae. When your hands come to the hips, sweeping the arms all the way up and creating that prayer and bringing that prayer to your heart center. Taking a moment here to check back in. Coming back to that breath you had in Robin's breath. And as always, I want to have a reminder that this practice is for you and do whatever you need during this practice. And if that is taking things a little lighter, maybe not following along as I go, it's perfectly fine, or kicking things up a notch, whatever you need today is perfectly fine. On an inhale, we're going to go ahead and sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale and fold. On an inhale, we're going to go ahead to a little baby squat. Lifting the heels. Fingertips pressing on the mat. Chest and head rise. Gaze looking up. We're going to go ahead and plant the hands. The left leg will come back. So the knee, the top of the foot is on the mat. From here, on an inhale, sweeping the arms all the way up, getting that nice stretch in the adductors. Exhale, lowering the hands, surround that front foot. We're going to go ahead and step back. And we're going to go ahead and stand up on the knees. On an exhale, lowering the hands. And coming to your child's pose. 
taking a breath here. On an inhale, curl that spine. Go ahead and drop the hips down, keeping the feet and the knees exactly as they are and coming to your cobra. Exhale, curling the spine back to a child's pose. On an inhale, coming up to standing on the knees. Exhale, plant the hands, walking that left foot, coming up. So the right knee and top of the foot is down. Inhaling, a nice low lunge, feeling that stretch on the opposite side. Exhale, surround that front foot, stepping all the way up. Inhale, rising up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Exhale, mountain pose. Take a moment, check back in. On an inhale, sweeping the arms all the way up. Exhale, folding down. Inhaling to a small squat, heels lift, maybe fingertips down on the ground, chest lifts, gaze forward. On an exhale, plant the hands, stepping the left foot back, left knee and top of the foot down. Inhaling, a nice low lunge. Exhale, surround that front foot, stepping back to a tabletop, inhaling to stand on the knees, exhaling, child's pose. Taking a moment to check back in, planting the hands, curling your whole vertebrae, your entire spine, dropping the to your cobra, exhaling, coming back to your child's pose. On an inhale, sweeping the arms all the way up, standing on the knees, exhale, plant in the arms, left foot comes up to that deep runner's lunge, inhale, sweeping the arms, exhale, surrounding that front foot. Stepping up, and an inhale, rising up, reversing your swan dive. Exhale, mountain pose. Taking a moment to come back to that Robin's breath. We're going to continue that series one last time. Inhale, your arms sweep. Exhale and fold forward. Inhale to a baby squat. Heels up, chest lifted, gaze lifted. Exhale, left foot back. Knee down, top of the foot down. Inhale, nice low lunge. Exhale, surround the front foot. Step back, tabletop. Inhale to stand on the knees. Exhale, child's pose. Planting the hands, inhale, round the spine as you come forward, drop the hips. Cobra, exhaling, child's pose. Inhale, come to stand on the knees once again, arms reach up, exhale, Coming to a tabletop, bring that left foot forward, inhaling to a nice low lunge, exhale, surround the front foot, step up, inhale, reverse your swan dive, coming all the way up, exhaling, mountain pose. Check back in. Maybe taking a moment to inhale, bring the shoulder blades up to the ears and down the back. Two more times, just like that. Inhale.
Inhale, the arms sweep all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to a flat back, shoulder blades kiss. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a high plank. Go ahead and drop the knees, coming halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, coming back to that cobra. Exhale, downward dog. We're going to go ahead and inhale, raise the right leg long. Exhale, step it between the hands. We're going to go ahead and walk that right foot to the left edge of the mat. Coming into our proud pigeon. So the right foot is on the left edge of the mat. The back foot extended down. Now option, if you want to stay right here, that's perfect. If you want to go ahead and fold down right now, that's perfect as well. If you want to go ahead and bring the back leg forward towards the glutes to get that extra stretch in your hamstring, I know that's a place I enjoy going. Maybe releasing that leg if you have a hold of it. And then go ahead and release your upper body, your arms. Coming down to your bowing pigeon. And make sure that your head has something to rest on, whether it be hands or a block, or maybe a pillow or a blanket.
Bring the left leg out and up. Exhale, step in it between the hands. We're gonna go ahead and bring that left foot to the right edge of the mat. Extending the right leg out long. Coming to your proud pigeon. Again, options. You could go ahead and fold down. You could stay in your proud pigeon. You could take pigeon up the wall. Or you can go ahead and grab for that back leg and bring it towards the glute for a, a nice quad hamstring stretch. You have that back leg, maybe extending it back out, making sure you're square to the front leg, keeping that a 90 degree bend in the right ankle. When you're ready, lowering down. Bringing your head to the mat, to the hands or a block. Maybe notice how this side feels different than the other side. On an inhale, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, pressing up to your proud pigeon. I'm gonna go ahead and roll over to that left hip, bringing the right leg around, and either grabbing on to the back of the thigh, the calf, or the foot. Extending that leg out, coming towards straight, and pulling your heart between your biceps. When you're ready, letting that leg go long, bring the inner arch to the ground, the back leg right underneath, the left arm extended out. Bring the right arm up and over to your gate pose. Staying here for a couple breaths. When you're ready, coming back, bring the soles of the feet together. Bring, go ahead and bring them a little farther out than you normally do. Bring the hands to the ankles or the feet. Inhaling, creating a nice straight spine. And on our exhale, we're going to go ahead and bend at the hips. So you're not going to go nearly as deep as if you round the spine. But just getting that stretch in your thighs. Savasana today. 
maybe allowing the eyes to get heavy. Maybe allowing your eyes to close. Taking some time to get comfortable in this Savasana pose. And if that's putting on a blanket or getting a pillow, just take your time. ready, deepening your breathing. Maybe extending the arms over your head and coming to a nice long body stretch. Like you could pull apart the mat with your feet and your arms. When you're ready, rolling over to your right side. Coming to the position of rebirth, the fetal position. As always, this is a pose to remind you that every practice invites you to be reborn and to restart. And anything that happened in the past or yesterday or this morning, you have a fresh new slate for the rest of your day. When you're ready, using your arms to press yourself back up into a seated pose. Maybe bring the right foot in close and then the left to follow. Sitting up with a nice tall spine and letting your eyes get heavy once again. Taking a moment to check back in to how you felt in Savasana a couple moments ago. Taking a moment to set back into your intention and notice if this intention still suits you. Or maybe creating a new intention to go throughout your day to day. Bring the arms to the hips and sweeping them all the way up on an inhale, creating a prayer at your heart center. Taking a moment to notice the community we create when we practice together. Bring in that prayer to your third eye as a reminder of right thought, to your lips as a reminder of right speech, and to your heart as a reminder of right intention. As we all bow and say, Namaste. Thank you.